NVIDIA has officially launched their 3 gigabyte 1050, and it may actually be better than the 1050 Ti. Plus, the much rumored and leaked 8 core mainstream Intel chip seems to have been spotted. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Before we get started, if you love hardware and gaming, make sure to check out the Gamer Meld Discord server. I'm going to be adding a buy and sell channel soon, so make sure to look out for that. You'll find it linked in the description. So a couple weeks ago, I discussed a report concerning a new 1050 coming out with 3 gigabytes of video RAM. It was originally found by X Preview, who accurately reported on the 5 gigabyte 1060 a little while back. Well, it looks like they were right once again, but this time it's a much bigger deal. Unlike the 5GB 1060, which was exclusive to the Chinese market, the 3GB 1050 appears to be a full new release, as it's actually on NVIDIA's website and is clearly differentiated between the 1050 Ti and the original 2GB 1050. As I discussed in my previous video, the 2GB 1050 is hampered in certain games, not because of its lack of horsepower, but the low RAM buffer that becomes the bottleneck when it comes to higher resolution textures. This 3GB version should definitely help, but NVIDIA has actually taken this a step further by upping the core count of the 1050 to match that of the 1050 Ti. Not only that, but they've raised the stock clocks beyond the 1050 Ti's, giving the 3GB 1050 higher theoretical computational power, meaning this new 1050 will more than likely beat the 1050 Ti in some games. Ironically, it'll still likely lose in most games because they'll need the more RAM of the 1050 Ti. Plus, they actually shortened the memory bus to 96-bit instead of the current 128-bit bus on the 2GB 1050 and 1050 Ti. How much the lowered bandwidth will affect it with more RAM is hard to say. It'll probably fix the RAM problem that the current 1050 has but gain a new one since it has more power now. As far as price, we don't know just yet, but I'd assume it's somewhere between the 1050 and 1050 Ti. While the move may seem odd, given the strange specs, it makes sense that NVIDIA would want to get rid of current 1050 Ti stock before the release of their next generation graphics cards. That, or they're wanting to extend this generation that much further. Fingers crossed, it's the first one. Speaking of upcoming releases, it looks like Intel is getting closer to theirs with what appears to be their much-rumored mainstream 8-core 16-thread chip that was spotted on the Sysoft database. The database entry mentions a kb -like client platform, but remember that KB Lake is incredibly close to Coffee Lake and could show as such. Either way, this 16 thread beast is only running at 2.6 GHz, which may very well be the base clock, or we could be looking at simply a prototype. Either way, with Intel finally taking the lid off of the Z390, this could be the board's new reason for existing. So while that does it for today, what do you think of the news? Excited for a new low-cost GPU entry? And what about the possibility of a new 8-core mainstream contender? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always. Have a great day.